Hello friends, Ron Houtman, EdTech Consultant from Ken ISD. So as a teacher or student, have you ever been in a Google Meet where it's starting to get a little jittery or the audio sounds bad? Well, Google has added a new tool into Google Meet, for those of you using Google Meet, that'll give you a couple hints about if it's your computer or your connection that is causing the problem. So where you find this is down in the bottom right hand corner when you're in any Google Meet, you'll see the three little dots. Click on that and go to Troubleshooting and Help. When you're in Troubleshooting and Help, you'll see this new Troubleshooting tab, and it'll show your network stability. So this means uh, how well your computer is talking over the internet to the servers and back to you. So a couple hints that they put in here too, which is about like Wi-Fi, especially if you're on Wi-Fi, you should be as close to your router as possible. And you know, if you've got anybody else streaming stuff in the house, that's probably an issue too, but it'll show your connection delay based over time. So you can see that, um, you know, where if you're having sort of any interruptions. The other one is system load and system load is if you're running a computer like a Chromebook that has minimal amounts of memory in it, um, and if you've got a whole bunch of tabs open, that's another factor that can cause your meeting not to be great because uh, when you're doing any video conferencing, your machine is using a lot of processing power and the more you can allocate toward video processing, the better. So it's best if you're in a meet, probably have no more than two tabs open. So this will show you to your CPU usage over time. And if you're on a Chromebook, it's probably a little bit higher than this. So just so want to make sure you knew about that and that'll help you or your students be able to troubleshoot maybe one or two things that might be causing the problems. So if you have any other questions about EdTech stuff, you can always email us at edtech at kentisd.org and we're always happy to help. Have a great week.